and Explosive Flame because they're both similar. Yes. But they're com like like but like their real utility is so different. Where one of them is you can send in like from across the Okay, hey, look at well that. we understand what how Ralphie and Ray are gonna Double reticle this. immediately gets tossed back to the left side though. Alright. Yeah, I don't think they can kill him. Oh see now you play a wolf in doubles, you have to be very careful to be very confident you're not gonna get him early and in and uh that almost just happened. Now, it's also worth saying that in singles, Jewel has been making real solid waves. Yeah. Did he get third this week or fourth? He did really well at Zeno. So. He's really opening people's eyes. Like, there's 75 characters in this game. People forget that. And the second you forget about a character's viability or existence in the metagame, someone shows up and just shuts you up, for lack of a better word. And uh, this is one example right here with uh, Robin in New York. But he just died. <laughs> oh, and that was really unfortunate, especially considering that he was the one who had the, the lower percent. Now Greninja, yeah, just and not able to tech that. Yeah, that I don't think stage. anybody in there. You know, actually, I just realized that. this. You're talking about two characters in Robin and Greninja that don't possess attacks on their up B. So Nair off stage for Palatina is going to be a feast if she can just properly space and get ready for that. That is very true. However, both of them have a lot of freedom in terms of angling. Robin, definitely, that was one of the buffs she got from the previous game. Definitely. Is the fact that her up B can now, there's a lot more variety to it. Of course, Reninja, Thank that goodness. quick attack-esque, you know, being able to manipulate the angle so precisely. Um, so, although, yeah, Nair is huge and might, is probably going to be a big part of uh, Utopian Ray's game plan, uh, there is, they, they can't play around it. Mm, nice combo there by Blue Team sending uh, sending Robin off to the right side so they can deal with Greninja, but immediately stabilizes. Very good job. I really am liking the way uh, Robin is supporting right now. Uh, I keep on saying Robin, I just, but you know, Jewel. Um, there's, there was at least two opportunities where, uh, where Blue Team was attempting to go for some type of combo, simple grab combos. He immediately disrupted it, so good stuff on him right now. Wow. Looking out for his partner. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but Ray just went for the up smash. MGW avoided it and then jumped into the very top <laughs> yeah. hitbox. That, Ugh, that lasted for so long. How long does it last? This seems like it's forever. Yeah, and I feel like it only killed because you charged it a lot beforehand. Because uh. uh, right, doesn't that make sense? Like the more, you, if even if you charge it, the sour spot that lasts would be stronger. Right? It's like one of those moves where the hitbox at the latter end is just as strong knockback wise as the beginning. No, actually, there yeah. are three. Uh, stages to how strong the move is. Right near the base, really strong. In the middle, really good. Especially as an anti-air, you can kill people at relatively high percents. Gotcha. The upper hitbox, usually you don't see that killing, but you can catch opponents. And there we go again, hitting Ray, top low, MGW. Joel on the right side trying to get back on the stage. Nice throw into the up smash. Ooh. You know, I was talking before about how I would maybe expect to see some handoffs to the wolf, but it seems like I forget about how strong Palutena's smash attacks are, and both uh, Ralphie and Ray are so aware of things that uh, it's it seems like more often Wolf is getting the grab and passing it off for Ray to finish things off. Blue team's doing a great job of taking advantage of it. anything. The second one they have red team off stage or in the air, they're definitely pushing that a lot more than uh, than blue team. I mean, from red team, I'm sorry, from what I've seen. I also want to point out at the very end there, you saw Palutena got the grab. And that's the communication between Ralphie and Ray. Mm -hmm. Ralphie didn't try and mess with it. He's like, no, nah, I know he's already dead to back throw. Good. I'm just going to stay over here. Yeah, I saw like, that too. I was like, is he going to throw him into a whoop up smash or something? No, no need. Yeah, I know, exactly. They're like, some other players might do the sort of thing where like Wolf would run up and possibly like, I mean, if he was smart, he would just go for a forward smash. But, you know, if they yeah, yeah. maybe tried to get fancy down throw up smash or something, and then it whiffed and it missed, that gives the opponent a chance to survive. Yeah, definitely. Just remember, if you grab the opponent and they're dead, just, that's it, they're dead. Absolutely. I've seen plenty of matches where stocks were unnecessarily lost because the team wanted to go for something a little bit extra credit when they didn't really need to. Sometimes simple is always the best answer in that case. Then again, extra credit can also be uh, pretty, pretty useful in its own right. A, you can end up on those cool highlight reels where, you know, you're footstooling the opponent and like doing crazy 2v1 combos. Uh, yeah, you but got also, it, you got it. You de demoralize your opponents. Like, there's nothing worse than watching your teammate all on their own get, like, completely slaughtered in a 2v1 comp. Yeah, definitely. So second game going to FD right now. I saw um, Jewel in the front trying to um, play aggressor, but that immediately got disrupted. And now we're splitting them up. Blue team in the middle. 
Yeah, it feels like MGW is taking more of an aggressive approach in general, and that means that he's eating a lot more damage because, you know, taking an aggressive approach against these two players, chances are you're going to get hit. Like, yeah, they're both fantastic singles players. And that means that Greninja's kind of stock tanking, but he doesn't really have the weight, the actual survivability. Instead, he's just eating all this damage. And if you notice, Rafi has taken almost nothing himself. Well, they're finally maybe uh, get something started. All right, looking for the punish there. MGW gets the fair off the dash wow. attack. Wow. Ah, he was just farming rage. All right, fair some bow says, Oh, nice F smash there by MGW. Wolf's trying to go for the pressure. Sees the, uh, the 124 on Greninja. Oh, try a nice bait there by MGW, but no good. Oh, explosive flame. He's been very good at that this whole set so far. Yeah, being able to use explosive flame like that like really requires so much like awareness. Wow. You know? I think that's at least two stocks right now MGW has taken care of. Well, dual tanking the stocks. This is, this is looking very good early on for Red Team. Oh, that down smash. Okay, he accidentally hit his partner. This is a bad situation. Ooh, get back, get back. All right, Greninja's trying to get back on the stage, but unfortunately, back off stage while Jules is her first stock, his first stock. <laughs> Foot stool. Very nice com uh, conversion there by Jules. Trying to maintain that low percentage on the second stock. Yeah, you can see like a lot of the nares from Wolf right now is just kind of just stuffing Greninja's approaches. Early on when it was, oh, very good, escaping that, going very oh, deep. Almost able to take out Ray's stock right there. Oh, that, might be the, oh, that might have been the second time someone ran into that F smash right there. Honestly, like, MGW, I would, I'm not going to say that he was questionably playing in the first game, but right now he's just playing so much better. The, uh, his ability to close out stocks specifically, recognizing those situations where it's the exact right moment to go all in with like a forward air or a forward smash. And the fact that he's cleaning up stocks is paying dividends. I mean, look at this. Oh. It's four, okay, now it's three stocks to three, but Wolf is really close to dying. That Look how far that Thunder sent him. Wow, that back here is so ridiculous. Like, one of the most satisfying things to me in this game is when you hit someone with an electric element move, because, like, the sun is so, so much more severe than normal. It just feels so much worse. Uh-oh. Now, you can't do uh, moves like that uh, in, a, in doubles. You just leave yourself wide open to a counterattack from the, from the teammate. And that was actually possibly a huge turning point. Red team were ahead this whole game, and they still are ahead, but only in percent now. And that means that... <laughs> this is absolutely within blue team's reach. Just right. some good damage, maybe a solid edge guard, and red team will once again find itself backed into the corner. Already MGW at 95%. There are plenty of things that can end his life right now, and if it ends up being a 2v1, especially with Robin, I cannot imagine that going too well. Ooh, watch out! Oh, that wow! Oh, 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 Jesus oh. Christ! Whoa. What was that? <laughs> That oh. was amazing. I, I feel like, do you think that I, grab was on purpose? I mean, it must have been. There that, it is. That That's the ridiculous. end of it. Wow. What an amazing turnaround from Ralphie oh, and Ray. Goodness. They, they started off so well, MGW and, and Jewel. But like you, you just saw, like, slowly and surely they stabilized. And the conversion potential of, of you know, Ralphie and Utopia and Ray from experience, like, culminated not just in this kill right here but the previous one before that like oh my god how that, do, you get do we that? have to get that on replay how do you get that oh